Prediger von der Hebkommande! I remember Mother's stories of Hira in the sacred wars. I wonder if she ever came here. Ship. And? Commander, where are they? Where's my Yiki? I really don't know how to tell you this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zeus could have impregnated the whole of Athens in the time it takes you to say anything. Where are they? I was trying to break this to you gently. I found your ship. It was wrecked. Oh, and my Yiki? This was all I could find. It was her armband. Yiki. Suppose I'm not much of a captain now. Can't be a captain without a ship. I can offer you a place on my crew. I know it's not like having your own ship, but you'll be part of a family. Hmm. Well, I'd rather be at sea than stuck here with these pious idiots. You got yourself a deal. Just till I'm back on my feet. Of course. Now, where's your boat? Ship? <laughs> it's called the Adrestia. Whatever you say, Captain.
Alexios, your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Alexios. Listen next time I tell you to do something. Okay. I promise it's for your own good. This time especially. What happened to you? I just left the monger's sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. You won't have to. I took care of him myself. I told Alexios he shouldn't have. It had to come to this. Malaka, what a fool he was. The monger's the real fool. He'll find that out soon enough. plan seemed to work. The monger thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Durasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I'm with you. We'll put on a show. Meet me and my girls there. The public has no idea what spectacle they're about to witness. <laughs> To the fucking show. I wanted you to see the face of every person you've wronged. I'll cover their faces with that precious blood of yours, just like I should have done with Mirini. You'll never rule these streets, you pig. Oh, you bet your pretty face I will. Get your filthy hands. And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof. You, you knew my mother. She was big fucking trouble, but I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head. Not if I bring her yours first. They won't have much to say after I smash your brains all over the stage. Get the fuck off my streets. They're not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets.
You've waited long enough to get your hands on him. And the pleasure is all mine. I have been starving for this. He deserved all of it. And you deserve your answers. Come, let's speak in private. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Thusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me, like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father would think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the board. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A uh, husband, the family. Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tichy owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well, Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon drew in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Gordon's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Siren Song. Find someone who knows the ship. I'll be one step closer to finding her. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia.
Hippocrates, it's good you're here. Is it? Look around you. Athens is dying. What do you think is going on? I don't know. What I do know is that it kills without discrimination. Rich, poor, philosopher or farmer. And I'm helpless to stop it. What's happening to the victims? Leaking, postulant rashes, raging fevers, pallid, sweaty skin. I find many dying in their own excrement. Is there nothing that can be done? I try and ease the suffering where I can. The plague is spreading through the victims' excretions. I'm sure of it. The bodies must be burned. Your compassion for the people has always inspired me. Unfortunately, compassion is all I have to give. The gods have shown me how arrogant I had become. We're only mortal, and the gods like to remind us whenever they can. I need help burning the bodies, Alexios. Fanatics are roaming the streets trying to stop me in my work. What fanatics? The followers of Ares. Superstitious fools. They believe burning the dead is sacrilege and attacked me. Can you believe it? These followers of Ares don't worry me. I'll help burn the bodies. I 
hope this is the worst of it. Crumbling at our feet. It's bleak, but it hasn't killed you. You're right. But everything Pericles has built is being destroyed. It's chaos outside these walls. People have forgotten how to be people. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother, her name, her ship. Alexios, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight this sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Alexios. Yes. Come. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. You look healthy as ever. Tell Aspasia that. She won't worry so much about me. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. Ah. Ah. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to 
from the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses no favorites. I fear a fate that is. It's people. It's Basia. No, you have it. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon would see me like this. That's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. It's not the gods' fault. It's the world. It's turned upside down. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the God's blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Alexios. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Please let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a fair. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia. There's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Yeah, they. This looks like the place.
By the gods. What happened here? Mimos must be carrying through on her threat. This was savage. Done to send a message. I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. Alexios, are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's busy. I don't fucking care! Tell me what Aspasia is. Alexios. <sighs> I'm sorry. Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with him. I agree, my friend, I agree.
Where you are, Alexios. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Vivi was killed by cult guards before I could get to her. Oh, no. Dear Phoebe. She died alone in the street. No, you found her. She wasn't alone. I know how much of a friend she was to you. I won't let them get away with this. You have to fight for her. Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles. Go! I'm going to destroy everything you've ever created. Nothing is mine. Pericles! out of my way. Stay close, just in case. Stop! Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave. Don't let them go. We're going to stay. 
Alexios. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they are in. You don't need us to protect us, Passive. Leave Athens to us. You saw what happened to Pericles. You want the same to happen to you? If every dissenting voice disappears, the people won't turn against him. They need me here. You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me. Both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Alexios. I expect to see you both again. Alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia, about Pericles and Athens. You have no need to apologize for anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Alexios. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough, and they struck when the time was right. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. That time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. Ah, then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. Naxos. Alexios, 
You've traveled half the Greek world to find her. You don't have to say anything. Just being there will be enough. But what if she here? is disappointed in me? Listen, any mother would want a child as brave and as loyal as you. If I were you... and double the patrols. If Paros is sending them, I want to know the moment they make landfall. Yes, sir. But Archon, please, yes, the merchants have... I understand your concerns. But protecting the town and the quarries is what's most important. You may all go. Over. Alexios. How? But I closed my eyes, I could still see you fall. I thought I had lost you. to get her back. She's too far gone. I gave up on you both once. Never again. What have you... How did you... I have a lot of questions. I think we both do. But ask. I'll answer what I can. What happened to you in Argolis after that night? I found your sister and rushed to a young doctor's apprentice, Hippocrates. I thought I'd lost you. I wasn't ready to lose you both. I spoke with him recently. That night still haunts him. I was heartbroken when the healers in Asclepios told me Cassandra was dead. The two of you were my whole world. But she did live. They lied to you. They must have realized she was special and handed her over to the cult. What do you mean, she was special? What's wrong? Soldiers from Paros just made landfall in the cove. A small force, maybe a dozen. Malaka. Timo, gather the troops. Questions will have to wait, Lam. I want to help. I assume you can use those weapons. Better than when you last saw me. Good. Come. Who is attacking? Paros, across the bay. Has finally grown tired of sharing the market with you. Why now? We've always had problems with Paris. I expected an attempt, oh, but just not so soon. I guess the time for talking is over. <laughs> Allies of an 
forget that allegiance is when opportunity happens. Given all that's happened. Paros made an alliance with the Athenians. Saw they left me little choice. You needed support. A rivalry with Paros is one thing, but they turned it into a war. Their partnership with Athens was too much to weather for Naxos alone. Yeah. <laughs> 
There has always been a rivalry between the islands. After all, Naxos used to control Paros and Andros. They're envious of our craftsmen, too. And now? They think they deserve expansion. Their oligarch demands their wings spread wide. But we'll clip their wings before that happens. They don't know who they're up against. You remind me of Nikolaus. You fight just like him. Ruthless and cunning. He would be proud. The real world taught me better. When someone wants your head, you have to learn to see your neck. I know exactly what you mean. I want to know about my real father. How did you know? I was told. Nikolaus? You saw him? Megaris, yes. Nikolaus was your father. He was the man who raised you. Until he took his Spartan duty too far. He mentioned another. What can you tell me about him? I always hoped you would never need to discover the truth. But there are things you need to know if we are to stop the cult. What do you mean? He sought me out before I knew your father, Nikolaus. I've not heard from him in a long time. Why didn't you tell me the truth about Nikolaus? You were just a child. You looked up to him. I couldn't bring myself to take that from you then, and I'm sorry you know now. I've been sheltered from the truth long enough. I don't understand why the cult targeted our family. There are many reasons, Lam. What did we ever do to them? Now that we're reunited, it's more a question of what we could do to them. They fear us. Your ancestors have been a thorn in their side for generations. They've decided we need to be eliminated to ensure their plans come to fruition. The cult will pay for all they've done to our family and the Greek world. You are mighty, Lam, but you cannot defeat that beast with sword and spear alone. I'll use any weapon I can to make them suffer as we have. I know you left Sparta, but how did you end up on this island? I couldn't stand by Nikolaus after what he did. I had to get out of Sparta. So why here? I saw an opportunity to help people, to grow something. I was elected to rule and protect this island from those who would ruin what we built. You've done some incredible things. Naxos is lucky to have you as his leader. It's not been without its difficulties, but I'm proud of what we've achieved. It's a pity there aren't more leaders like you. Let's continue this discussion somewhere the smell of death doesn't linger. Ride with me. soldiers. There's no treaty? Maybe there was, but it's long over. Now there's no mistaking them for anything but the enemy. An enemy I could help you defeat. We'll discuss that later. But I think you're right. Come on.
Paros must be stopped. The temple's coming along, Evandros. It will stay in the ruins if we don't secure more donations. Soldiers can't get all the funds. They can if you don't want the temple destroyed by our end. It's a good deal to start the destruction. Ligdamis was a great man who deserves reverence. His battles against corruption and oligarchy are lessons we all should remember. I do intend to finish the temple. Thank you. But a good one. I certainly had worse. Me too. You have grown into a remarkable man, but I see the burden you carry on your shoulders. Finding you has lessened it, I think. I'm glad, but I have wondered why the gods chose to reunite us now. I think they felt it was about time our family found each other again. If we want to be truly united, we have to find Cassandra and rescue her from the cult's class. They are the source of all our pain, and they will cause more to many others unless we act. I put that life behind me the moment I left Sparta. I have Naxos to worry about now. Let me help you here. We can safeguard Naxos and then hunt down the cult together. Mirini? The symposium is about to start. By the gods. I'm sorry, Miss Sweet. I forgot. Prepare the horses. I'll be out shortly. The symposium? I need to show the people their leader is strong and in control. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. I will help you stop the cult. But before I can leave Naxos, I have to ensure it will survive without me. What do you need? Paros has to be dealt with. We need to weaken their position. Once they're vulnerable, they will make a reckless decision and we will strike. What did you have in mind? We must force the Paros fleet to engage us and destroy it. But my Admiral, Aeneas, is missing. His ship was sailing for Paros to engage in peace talks, and he never returned. Don't worry. I'll find him. If you need me, I'll be at the symposium. Although, try to look less intimidating should you choose to pay me a visit. Art? 
This can from whatever wrote this message. I'll take it to the other merchant. <laughs> I have some things to ask you. Go on. It's the slow season. I found these rock fragments near the graffiti. Do you recognize them? That, my friend, is ebony. Used for various artistic endeavors. Won't give the pottery as good of a shine in that state, though. Ebony? The rock? Is it found on Naxos? It's mine from the Rotsuna waterfall. Thank you. Rosso. Maybe you'll buy something next time. Propagandist did his job well. I need more support to attack Banks. I've seen too many people die already. Please, come away from here. Aspasia, what brings you here? Alexios, read the room, my dear. I'm interrupting. Please, continue your discussion. It sounds fascinating. I've just come to tell your mother that the cult's elite forces are after her and that this place is too open. And I've been telling Aspasia I need to appear in public to maintain the support of the citizens. You want me to handle the court soldiers? Not only that. My people won't believe Paros is behind this without proof. I need you to find it. Of course. Good. And I'll make the rounds here. Shore up my support. Be careful. They're dangerous. I know. I'll get her out of here safely. Where do your sources say I should start looking? I'd try the caves under Mount Zas. The cultists are so enamored with their own mysticism. It's predictable enough for them. I don't think anyone sent to kill you is going to admit who they're working for. You're right. Physical proof is better. I'm sure you can find something. Of course. I'd be happy to help you both. I'll see you again later. You are a brave warrior, Lilinis. But ignoring this danger is foolish. use wild animal hairs to form the bristles of their paintbrushes. What animal is this hair from? It's too long to be a deer. I've heard that some thrill seekers like to get hairs from the bears that live on the island. They're mad if you ask me, but artists are an unusual sort. Thank you. They're awesome. Maybe you'll buy something next time.
vengeance. They're in there. I should be extra careful in this area.
stamped with the seal of Paros. The letter. Some kind of code. Old soldiers were paid with drag me from Paros. Well, I could hardly ask for clearer proof. This will settle some scores. Take this to the merchants' guild. Tell them it's the proof I promised. And tell them they can keep the coins. Of course. There was also this. I assume it's their orders. I recognize this. It's an old dialect. The cult must use it to communicate with one another. You can read it? This money isn't from Silanos. It's from someone in Sparta. That's not possible. I can translate it for you, but these orders come from a Spartan king. This Spartan nobility has always resisted the cult. The cult is like water. Any crack in the stone and they'll get in. Sparta stands against corruption. How can you say that after all Sparta has done to you? They tore apart our family. They welcomed the cult with open arms. Why do you keep saying they? I am still Spartan. And so are you. Are you really? I have responsibilities here. Paros needs to be stopped. But then, yes, I will go back. <laughs> 